that it's ready and I'm hoping that um, there is no any worms in it I really hope and uh, I didn't have any issues with any worms about two years ago or so but it looks like this year much of the papaya as much as I enjoy the papaya so let's pick that one and see Catch it. So, let's see. And per usual, I don't have a knife with me. So, hold on just for a second. Closer so you can see. Please, please, please. I really want to eat this papaya. I really hope they spare this one. Please. Let me see. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I don't see worms per se, but it doesn't look right in the middle. Let me cut it a little more. You see the deep coloration? This would be so good to eat. I think so healthy. But. I mean, I can try to possibly cut out this part. Let me see if I see anything. If I don't see anything, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, very small amount of flesh actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's still edible some for there is nothing in it I think. Let me see. Let me try. It's um I think it's a little dry for papaya and not too sweet at all. You see not a lot of meat on it. I don't know. Maybe just uh, It's um, it's edible. <laughs> Would you like some? No. <laughs> Why? That's my least favorite fruit. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh! Found the worm. Ah, oh, yeah, big one, huge. Ah. Oh. That's what's happening with the papaya. I show you the bad guy that goes in, unfortunately. I mean, you can see that there is still flesh that you can eat around it, but um, most of it, unfortunately, as you can see it here, uh, this papaya, it's really infested. I would love to eat the papaya, but it's like... Yeah. You see, it actually broke in half because it's so infested. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna even use the knife for this one. It's pretty infested. So unfortunately, yeah. 
And now it's supposed to destroy these papayas actually. Put it underground as deep as I can or put it just somewhere that the flies is uh, the, basically the maggots is not gonna become the problem. I mean, like I said, about a year and a half ago or two, I didn't have any problem with it. Seems like lately I can't I can't really enjoy a good papaya unfortunately. I will try and see what can I do about it. But if I'm not gonna be able to have the papayas, I'm gonna probably cut down some of the trees. So that way, hopefully that would stop the cycle of this uh, bad guy that uh, puts in all these uh, eggs and everything. And, uh, but uh, we have a lot of neighbors who probably have papayas. So I don't think that maybe that would even work for me as much but yeah it's kind of a shame because you can see there is so many papayas coming out over there there is some but over there it's so bad and uh, i don't know about you but um i i think they are so healthy like i can actually like whenever i eat papaya the next day i can see that it, it just it it's amazing for for you for the skin for everything so I would love to enjoy it. I hope in the future. I see some people put like um, pantyhose on it and whatnot. But I mean, with the papayas, that's a, that's a little, I don't think that's a very easy job to do. Especially when you have a papaya really tall like that. I mean, how many feet is this papaya? I would say, hmm, I'm not really good with my eyes. <laughs> like that. 13. 15 okay so that's exactly what I wanted to say just <laughs> but yeah it's about 15 feet so it's like you need the leather and uh, so it's a little harder than putting a bag on a guava for example so yeah that's about the papayas as much as I enjoy a good papaya lately I can't really have them so I have to figure out something too and, and once again because I don't put any chemicals everything even the bed bugs are trying because of it so um, it's one of those things what you know what to do are you gonna use a lot of chemicals and then probably maybe you're gonna eradicate the problem but then you you end up getting some of those chemicals so uh, it's just you know what what are you doing about this? If you have any papayas, do you have the same thing going on or what? Let me know what you do about this. So anyway, I just a quick video from the morning just so I really hope that uh, I would enjoy that one. Well, I tasted it a little bit, so it's not too bad. So anyways, see you guys later i would love to go to another food forest in the near future so hopefully um i can put up a, a nice video of that and it can give you good ideas actually their food forest was big uh, pushing for me when um, i started this whole food forest a big uh, motivation factor so uh, I would love to show you guys that food for us. They started a, a good couple of years earlier than me, than us. So I really hope I can make it over there soon and I can put out a nice video for you guys to see and to have some ideas. So till then, have a great day. Enjoy your Sunday and see you guys later. Bye.